Hello, I'm Rob, welcome to Rob's Models, and today gonna to be doing an unboxing and a uh, review of this, which is something a little bit different. It is a Massey Ferguson 2680 tractor. So something a little bit different uh, by Heller. It's in one to, uh, one to 24 scale. So same sort of scale as you would sort of expect uh, for your um, cars, motor vehicles. That's a sort of typical scale for that. And uh, one thing to notice on here is quite blatantly, it says 45 pieces. So not expecting it to be too much of a complicated model. I'm gonna admit straight from the get go that actually this is my first Hello kit. So um, not too sure what to expect from it, but um, yeah, I have heard they are um, a little bit simple, shall we say, and actually with 45 pieces, that does actually make sense. So um, got it still sealed up in the shrink wrap as you can probably tell from the reflections so first off let's open this see what we got in there and i'm uh, going to be building this as well so um yeah i thought it'd be a bit different now um just to explain this uh is actually um quite old actually the, well this kit I only got a while back but it's uh, the original toolings i believe were from about 1983 um, I did get reboxed those sort of things and reference on there as you can see is 18402 so before we open the box now we've got that shrink wrap off as a few less reflections so you can see this is the new box art that's uh, when it got re-released a few years back and it actually shows the tractor sitting in the field and it's actually looking quite clean actually there in fact there's hardly any mud on the tires maybe just a little bit of gentle sort of wear but uh, you can actually see straight from the get-go the cockpit shall we say the cab that's the word the cab uh, is actually a lot of clear actually there so you've got big front glass side panes and rear panes so actually nice bit of box art just actually showing it in the field and as we go around sort of box art and again we've got the reference numbers there uh, the box itself is uh, let's just see that's about 37 centimeters long uh, by about sort of 25 wide so yeah it's a nice size box and actually it is quite sturdy it does the job not as flimsy as what some boxes are and on the back we have got a bit more detail so this actually shows the kit made in a quite a nice clean condition so that is actually photographs of the finished model we've got the dimensions there so just sort of show you the length of the kit when it's made it's going to be about um what's that 215 uh mil uh, approximately about um, just under 10 centimeters wide and got a height of about 12 centimeters so um, yeah it should be a bit bigger than sort of like a car in a 1 to 24 scale and we've got the paint codes there and uh, those are actually given in the Heller paint codes uh, for the references there one thing I will say is looking at some reference pictures of this Massey Ferguson 2680 uh, they basically come out of the factory with that red let's get the box open so um, it's quite nice to just sort of open it up and then aha here we are so let's see what we've got in and uh right so actually let's just come here so actually this is quite a nice storage box it does actually say i didn't notice on here it does actually say on here that the uh, box may be retained um should be retained and um can be used for a storage box and i've actually being at a flip lid uh, it does actually mean that you can put your bits in there, close it down, stack it up again for when it goes on the old shelf of doom, no doubt. So let's see what we've got. All the plastic, I say all the plastic, the main bits, and remember there's only 45 parts to this, so I'm not expecting it to be too complicated. However, uh, that doesn't mean we can't actually put a bit of effort into um, doing it up, and to be honest, sometimes, especially like I've been doing a bit of armour recently for those that are following me on YouTube, um, no, I've actually been getting into doing some armour and that sort of thing and really finding out that the fun is actually in the weathering, not just the actual uh, kit itself, you know, not the building. So we've got a bag with the clear bars, decals in there and the instructions. So uh, we'll get rid of that box, we can reload it as we go through. So, instructions, A4 booklet which is quite nice and uh, got a colour actually which is quite nice got a colour picture of you know the box art as well so good just for reference uh, basically safety instructions in there and coming on to here 
there we go it does actually just give the paint codes as well uh, and actually just saying what they are so it's you know gloss dark gray silver gloss red gloss crimson aluminium and satin black and as we come through we can see straight away we're building up the uh, front axle by the look of that uh, so you've got the um, differential steering it's actually showing you not to glue parts so I'm assuming there's going to be have a little bit of movement to it as well uh, this is actually saying it's a snap fit as well but uh, obviously we'll be putting a bit of glue on there and then color coding as the parts are coming on so just building up the subframes there it looks like the chassis pretty much is um well the sort of whole gearbox of um drive chain is actually just two big lumps coming together so it's i'm guessing although it's looking like all the engine everything is all going to be molded in uh, we'll see what the detail is going to be like but i'm sure it gives us an opportunity if you want to do a little bit more to it as well so seat comes together it's actually just looking at it the seat is actually just in two parts so in um, 1 to 24 scale and even then including armrests and everything uh, the whole thing is just actually two halves that come together which is a little bit shocking but it is actually useful because it's showing you the paint codes what you're going to be using and they've obviously coloured it so instead of actually having um, painting instructions as you go uh, you can actually sort of build it up and it looks like yeah it's all going to be coming together it looks quite simple to be honest and then you're going to be then dropping on the bonnet as well with the exhaust stack yeah got the weights at the front actually that's so um weights go on the front you can see in the picture there it's a, like a, a stack of uh, metal weights so of course when it's actually going to be pulling something it's going to be counterbalancing it so it doesn't just end up doing a wheelie along and gets uh, weighted down oh when it's trying to pull a plow or something but what surprises me is although they're obviously all separate they're actually just going to be when one uh, well, you know two halves going together so it's going to be quite simple and we've just got a couple of decals there as well so overall quite simple on there but sometimes a kit is what you make it so let's have a look at this first of all just because it's got the uh, decals in so we'll see the decal sheet first of all unfortunately by putting it in here you can immediately see it's actually uh, very um, battered now uh, and of course it's just because it's been put in that part crunched all together um, in storage so that should be okay to flatten out but we can actually see we've got decals there for the instrument panel but we've also got decals for the light clusters as well as well as the actual obvious decals that are going to be going down the sides of the bonnet and the registration plate uh, but it does look quite basic uh, yeah not really i mean the instrument panel i mean obviously it's just it is an old tractor but uh yeah it does look quite basic there let's get on to this clear part so that doesn't look good straight away that a little bit has come out um so i'm assuming that is all in one piece molding just checking which is definitely a very large chunk and I'm guessing what will happen, and actually look, you, this is why it's only got 20, you know, 45 parts. You can see that these, like, you know, things, mirrors, um, indicators, these are all uh, windscreen wiper, all moulded on in one, when normally that would just be uh, put on. And you can actually see as well that that would actually go on there. So that would actually be a functioning door. But it is one lump. Now, good thing is though uh, that does look like that has snapped that's sheared from somewhere I'm guessing that would have gone somewhere I'm guessing on the bottom of that bit that looks like that would have followed the frame down or somewhere but we do have no that would have gone just on there okay so fixable um, and actually it looks like that would be a part that would be getting painted anyway so not too bad but it's annoying because that that is just sort of stuck out so um yeah but a big very solid lump now you can see obviously it's frosted over there that's where it's going to be painted but the actual part here i think yeah we can see it's flat 
uh, no compound curves or anything on there that you would have normally got from a you know aircraft canopy something like that so it is absolutely crystal clear and it is going to have been um yeah you're going to have a good view into it so actually as far as um that goes that's a good bit of plastic nice and clear no distortions whatsoever i can look through that and those uh, those grid lines are staying absolutely straight you know obviously bar a little bit around the edges but yeah you can see that there's a little bit of distortion there but you're going to be able to see right into the cockpit i say cockpit um yeah you're going to be able to look right in there look at the wheels uh, I did see, on, I'm sure, of sort of like a, a review or something somewhere on this or a YouTube channel, someone said they opened it up and they didn't actually have the tyres on there. So I was a little bit concerned, I must admit, um, that, you know, thinking, oh, crikey, am I going to open it up and not have any uh, tyres or, or be missing one? But no, we have got four wheels. Four wheels on the wagon, so that's good. Uh, these are nice, grippy rubber. Uh, I have got a bit of a seam line running down there, but to be honest, uh, the prototype probably you know would be having sort of seam lines but probably just wouldn't hurt just to uh just to file down that little bit of a seam there and also at the same time it will just rough it up a little bit we haven't got any manufacturers um any anything in there so uh no they're just quite plain but they um look like they'll do the job actually with something like that you can't really say you know, tractor tires, you can't really go much wrong with them. Now let's get to the plastic here. So the main sort of sprues are all in one bag. So what have we got? We've got this spread over three main sprues. Um, let's look at actually we'll just have a look at uh, this one first doesn't make too much difference now so uh, this one has got the wheels on um, the hubs there and that looks quite plain and simple it obviously you've got a few a bit of um it's probably not a huge amount of detail that would actually be and remember this is a tractor this is very agricultural it's a simple tractor and it's not a modern tractor either no backs but i don't think that's going to be visible to it too much things like these little struts are very plain uh, but again the prototype might just be you know plain angle iron though you know those sort of things um when it's made uh, i have got some little sink marks just in there we just but a little bit of filler we'll just cover those and some ejection pin marks a little bit here and there however like on those sort of curves on those external bits that's actually uh yeah quite clean there you have got a little bit of in detail on there mf for massey ferguson just on those parts and that's actually going to be those weights at the front which haven't even i assume there was actually going to be uh, yeah, it was going to simulate that it was going to be those um, cast iron plates, but no, this one just looks like it's going to be a block. Have got a few little rivets on some of those parts there, but I've got to say that is at the moment looking quite plain. But I remember we are building, and of course this is tooling from 1988. No, sorry, 1983. So uh, gives you an idea of the age of the tractor as well that we're um, modelling here. Seats is you can just see very very plain just two parts there that sandwich together already got the armrests on and the cushions and the sort of suspension side the spring ride to it that's all on there that's looking very plain but of course this was just sheet iron that was um sheet steel that was pretty much bent um pedals so you've got your three pedal box there and actually on the pedals there is a little bit of um texture to it just that sort of non-slip texture but you can see it is i was just about to say it's it is not that fine it is quite agricultural looking but of course it's a tractor it is agricultural so not massive detail on there and you just imagine that nowadays that wouldn't just be two parts of sandwich together you'd have had the back you'd have had the seat you'd have had the side lumbar supports each armrest then the the whole sort of part that it sits on 
you know, that would normally be like an eight to 10 seat, eight to 10 part seat. And like the grill as well here, you can see that's just sort of molded on. And uh, it might be one of those things what, what, what we might want to do and that the front grill might be worth actually uh, cutting out and actually uh, making it so you can actually see inside um, into the engine, which brings us to it here, which is the final sprue we've got here, which is the differential sort of here for the, uh, the front. And then you've got the main engine here. So you actually have got, I was gonna say, I mean, actually, it sounds odd, but the engine and all of it has got a bit of texture. It's not smooth. Uh, which of course it probably would have because it would be cast iron uh, it would be yeah it would be rough agricultural uh, exactly as i said so yeah it would kind of it would be polished smooth metal so it does actually have a bit of texture and that also help when giving it a bit of a wash just to weather it all in looking at it it is very basic looking but at the same time looking at it um it should be quite easy to detail up and there wouldn't be a huge amount of detail on there you would have some ht leads a little bit of pipe work but actually it would be quite a simple thing just something that a farmer would be able to fix but it's just odd that you've just got the whole engine and the drivetrain uh differential and the rear axle literally on just two parts and the uh the actual um base of it's going to go on there and then the canopy effectively will go over the top so it is going to be quite a simple build there so um that's what we've got there so it's not a massive amount however um 45 parts by the time you take the wheels and the hubs um uh, it should actually be i mean it still doesn't actually quite look like 45 parts i am worried now that i'm actually missing something because even when you start taking that into account we had a uh, two parts in there uh, four wheels um, so that'll take us up to 10 I'm just going to count that up uh, 10 uh, 12 14 16 uh, 18 20 22 24 uh, 6 8 30 okay so we are looking up to about that uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 40 and then 1 2 3 4 that's 44 I've obviously miscounted somewhere but yes okay that's fine we have got all the parts there it's just now it's actually out in front of me there it just looks quite simple and of course it is simple that's what we've got to remember with this kit is it is actually it's a simple kit to build something that is actually simple so uh, don't start thinking it's going to be like a modern build but um, it should actually make it a bit more interesting it should be quick to put together I guess but then looking at it uh, you could put it together quite easily and just do the basic paint job on it or you could put that bit of extra weathering in there open up those grills uh, make it a bit more visible uh, give it a bit more weathering or whether you want to really go dirty on it or just give it a bit of a rough make it look used type weathering uh, i think it's actually quite a to be honest it's quite a blank canvas and it's going to be something a little bit different so actually i am planning on building this very soon so make sure you do hit subscribe i haven't decided whether i'm going to be doing it on youtube or on twitch um, you can follow me on both uh, what i might do is live stream most of the build but then put highlights on youtube or something i know this isn't going to be a popular kit so i'm not expecting to be getting millions and millions of hits and likes and stuff on it but if you do want to see me build something a little bit different do hit subscribe uh, i do appreciate it if you have built this or if you've got any thoughts or ideas on this um, please leave a little comment it really does help as well just to recap this is the Massey Ferguson 2680 by Heller in 1 to 24th scale and the reference number on that is 81402. I've been Rob, happy modelling and catch up with you again soon.